Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom and this video is going to show you a, a little bit more about the blog show settings that you have in the back end. And if you haven't watched the other videos on how to upload images and kind of set up your sets, you want to go back and watch those first before you do this. So uh, in this video I've already sh I'm already in the back end uh, and I have the global setup tab um, open and I have four options in here. We have design, watermarking, standard display, and slideshow display. So I'm going to quickly go through each of these and talk about the options that you have. Um, in the design tab, the first thing you have is the font style, and you can use this drop down to change the font style. Um, you have the background color, and the background color is behind this image. And um, so if you change this background color in your blog and you want this background to match, you can go ahead and change that right there. And you can either use the drop down and use this color, or you can go ahead and um, grab the hex code from Photoshop and drop it in there. Either way, you can get you can get the exact color you want for your branding, or you can get something really close. Either way, um, you you can use you could use either option. Uh, we have the stroke color option here, and the stroke color is the color that wraps around everything. So this this one this like one pixel line right here is the stroke color. And then you have your foreground color, and that's going to be anything that's in the foreground, like these buttons. So you have your color options right here. Um, you have the ability to use this drop down to decide what kind of video player skin you want. So if you're using video, you can you can change that here, and you can decide if you want your um, your border around a slideshow or images turned on or off. So you can use the true and false here. I'm going to skip down uh, to this last option, which is the spacing between images. When you bulk upload your images and you're not using the slideshow function and it just stacks all the images, you can actually change the spacing between the images. So um, you can do that here and you can do it by either typing in a number here or using this this toggle right here. Uh, these options right here, these three, are all about um, how, how your server processes the images. If you use one of our recommended uh, servers, it will include Image Magic, the Image Magic library, and that'll actually create a more efficient, um, more efficient environment to process the images. And we do a lot of resizing and resampling. You can actually change the resampling quality of your images. So similar to when you're in Photoshop, if you uh, save them to be web ready and use the little toggle to turn the uh, quality of the image down to save some bandwidth, this is the same thing. So essentially if your server is running a little bit slow and you want to save some bandwidth, you could do that. And We recommend you, you either do it here or you do it in Photoshop and, and you try and conserve as much bandwidth as you can. And then um, we also have this automatically sharpen resampled images and that will save your images from getting soft. So those are some uh, server <coughs> options you have right there. When you're clicking on the watermarking tab, um, you can turn the watermarking true or false. Um, and this is to use an image, and then you can just upload an image here. Uh, I recommend you upload a transparent ping if you can, so that if you change up your backgrounds, it doesn't conflict with the background of the logo. Um, so you can upload an image by clicking Upload New and load your image in there. Um, the watermarking placement on the image is going to be controlled by this X and Y so this is your up and down and left and right and you can just move these toggles back and forth to to change the location of it so you don't have to have it directly in the center and then you can change the opacity of that image so we have it right now set to 50 um, and you can go ahead and change that you can turn it up or turn it down as you like we also have the option you'll see uh, to draw crosshairs and you can draw like an it'll it'll draw an X a really thin line right through the center of the image uh, from corner to corner and um, so if you don't want to use your image your logo and you just want to use the X it's really subtle but it definitely helps protect the protect the image uh, so you could turn that on right here and then you can use uh, you could change the color of the crosshairs uh, white seems to work really well or a light gray uh, it seems to be able to be seen on on most images and then your crosshair opacity you can change the opacity of the actual uh, crosshairs if you like and um, and then once you have all that done you can go ahead and hit save and remember after each of these tabs when you're changing stuff go to the bottom and hit save and then you have your standard display and your slideshow display. Um, the standard display is when you're just using it as a bulk uploader and you're not uh, using the slideshow function. So that's the standard display. And we're going to go over some of these options. So um, display the size bounding box. So you might have images cropped to a different size. Uh, you might use them 16, 1600 by 900 or 1600 by 1200 or whatever image sizes you, you want. You might want to make them smaller. Well, this is going to be the, the bounding box that your images sit in. So you want to make sure that your bounding box matches 
uh, the size that you want it to be. And so right here we have our set to 800 by 450 for this demo. And so it fits really nicely on your on your backdrop here. <clears throat> so you can come in here and, and change that. And then you have a lot of options as far as how you want your images to display um, display uh, when when you're when you're when you're having them in that stacked in that stacked view and uh, you, if you come in here and just start playing around with these you can you can have them resize and resample to the bounding box width to the height you can have them crop and fill you can have them letter box so they always fit in no matter what um, and that gives you a little bit more variety so you might want to come in here and play around with those and 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 see how uh, see how those work for you um, and then your slideshow display again your bounding box um, is, is this is this right here <clears throat> so uh, that's your your bounding box and and your uh, resizing cropping handling is what I just talked about in the, on the other tab, which is uh, determining how your images actually get put in that bounding box. Um, you have your thumbnail toolbar right here, so you can change the height of this toolbar. And um, right now it's set to 50 pixels, but you can set it to 75 or, or really small or really large, how, however it is that you think it looks best. You have a transition effect here, and you have a few of them, so you can pick from a classic fade to uh, brightness from white. I think classic fade is my favorite, just personally throwing in my two cents. You have the effect duration and the slide duration, and basically that determines the time and seconds that it takes to actually um, to actually move from image to image and how long the image is actually up. So the effect duration is two seconds um, moving into the next image, and then five seconds to actually stay up on the stage and you can view it for five seconds before it it, it moves on to the next one if you have it in an autoplay feature um, and then the last thing is the uh, cross-faded images you can have it uh, turned on or off so you can do that for either one now these are the these are the global settings so as soon as you set this up you can use this for every single set um, that you set up but if you want to come into your image sets and you want, let's say, this specific set to display differently. Let's say you want, you want to um, change the bounding box. You can come in here, or, or the thumbnail size. You can come in here, and you can change the sizes here. Um, you can change how it displays. So you have all the same options for each set um, located with each set. But what you have to remember to do is you have to override global settings. You mark that to true, and then you can change everything, and it'll take effect for that one specific set. So. If, if you want to come in here to each one, you can do that. You can come into the settings tab, uh, make sure you click override global settings, and then you can change the settings for each specific set. So that is your general uh, global setup and, and your general settings for your, your blog show. Again, we covered how to use blog show upload images and stuff into posts and pages and other videos. I encourage you to watch those if you haven't watched those yet. And um, I hope this was effective in, in educating you on, on some of your options, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again.